We'll be heading up to Granite Mountain Spectator Memorial in just a minute, but Lucky has to show you some things first. Travels with Lucky here. We're in Thompson Park right now, just nine miles south of Butte, a great little recreational area. This is one of Lucky's favorite spots, but we're on our way to Butte, Montana. It's interesting to see the amount of snow here in this area. It's actually pretty deep, a couple feet deep. Hard to tell that. It's packed down, and there is a nice little path right here, but uh, it is uh, the first part of March. We're still pretty much into winter here in southwest Montana, but you can see how this little swamp area is still all frozen over this is a pretty good bear country moose country you can see the willows the red willows there um, are still pretty much just doing their winter thing lucky's got to check out all the spots i thought i'd show you <laughs> oops <laughs> well i wasn't really going to show you the peon but yeah this is a pretty good peon spot but he is a flat-coated retriever and loves to get out, loves to travel with us, and loves to play in the snow, actually. So uh, there is good things about the snow, especially if you have a big dog that loves it. So anyway, we are going to be heading into town. I thought I'd just stop and show you this before we go uptown. So you can kind of tell the temperature by the crunchiness of the snow. It's not real cold. It's not a real sharp, hard, crispy sound, but it's cold enough where you probably don't want to spend a whole lot of time outside. If you haven't been in snow country, it gives you a sense of what it's like. Look at how the dog has so much fun in the snow. We are up above Butte. Uh, in Walkerville, if you're familiar with that, I'll, I'll put in a map there. But I had to climb over this pretty tall snow bank to get over here. What I wanted to be able to do is show you the highlands from a distance. Now we are up here by the Belt Diamond Mine, and that is the uh, remnants of an old mine, actually one of the first mines up there in Walkerville. So I'm pretty sure this is Bell Tower. We're up here at Granite Memorial in Walkerville. It's above Butte. It's a beautiful winter day. Well, I wanted to get a picture here of the mountains back there. Red Mountain. Three men in a bed. That's what the old timers would call it. I'll, I'll show you this uh, photo I take. I figured, well, since I'm up here, I might as well do a little quick film. I'm going to come back up here when the weather's better. And and uh, it's all different now because they got these big chain link fences here. Never used to be like this before. You used to be able to walk right up to those wheels and stuff. But you can see everything through chain link fence. There's more than one way to skin a cat, so I put my phone through the fence so I could film, and then I'll just have to extract a picture off of that. So there's the current workings of the mine. I think some people wonder what those are called. Those are head frames, and that's the structure that uh, they use to hoist up the people and the minerals from the mine. And then that other building off to the left is where all the equipment is. And those wheels were actually a part of the Bell Mine, Diamond well, I'm Mine. I'm just going to walk up here real quick to show you 
the mining operation here in Butte. It's pretty extensive. And this will just be real quick. That's Granite Memorial. That was one of the biggest mining disasters. I'll come up here and do a video of that too. So this is just a 360 of this particular area. It's pretty interesting up here. It's a little bit different because they did a lot of reclamation. So it doesn't actually look like the same kind of mining grounds that it used to say 20 years ago when I lived up here. But it's still very interesting. The uh, At the mine disaster, 164 men lost their lives and uh, they have a, a pretty good uh, display over there that I showed you earlier. It's definitely worth your while to come by. Here it is and check it out. There's some recordings of uh, what you might expect the men to be saying. They were able to get letters off to their loved ones and things. It's really pretty sad, but it's nice that they made this big um, memorial. And this is right above Walkerville. It's not the best day to be going out and about, but Kind of gives you an idea when you're up this high you can see a lot more and that whole operation down in there has just grown tremendously over the last 20 years they've literally taken out mountain sides and you can see how each tier is built up over there and the trucks and everything are just huge they look like ants when you see them off in a distance working this area But if you're in Butte, it's worth your while to come up this far and uh, you can learn a lot more about the mining operation if that's something you're interested in. And now we're just leaving and heading on back out. But you can see the hillsides of Butte has a lot of these um, leftover mining head frames and they light them up in red at night so it looks really interesting. But Butte is a fascinating area, and of course there's lots of places you can go to learn about mining and to learn about the pit, and I'm not going to get into that now, but I just wanted to give you a, a quick overview of Butte. A lot of people have an interest in the history of Butte. This is just heading down Main Street, and uh, we'll be wrapping it up. Lucky was glad you could come along. So thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and give us a thumbs up. That'll help the channel. He is just trying to get his channel to grow. So we appreciate you watching and look for more Montana adventures as we continue along our journey. Thanks for watching.